Hey you guys, what is up? Marcus here once again, I'm back. Now, it's been a while since I've uploaded and I know I said I was gonna do two videos a week. Oh man, I've just been really busy with Roads Untraveled. As you probably know, we've been putting out two episodes every week now, which has been a little bit hectic. We've been filming two to four episodes a week and each shoot is about four hours plus editing time. It, it's just been crazy. Anyways, um, so for another video back here, I figured why not show you guys around the MR2. I know a lot of you know lots about the MR2, but I also know a lot of you don't know much about the MR2. So first things first is you look around the interior. Now it's a decent size in here actually, it's really comfortable. Um, I drove a Porsche 964 Turbo and a uh, fully stripped out Miata, not on camera, but that was a different time. Um, and this is bigger than both of those cars inside for sure. So in terms of storage space, there's nothing, no cup holders. Uh, you have a little bit of space in the door cards there. Uh, ashtray is missing. I need to get one of those. This usually has like a little thing in there um, when you have the OEM stereo. Uh, glove box. And yes, I'm using CDs because this only takes mini disc. Uh, so that's that. You come around here. You've got um, the back casing here. Right now I have dash cam and a little cup holder that actually goes into here so my passenger can have a drink or myself if I were to want that and then in the top whatever you want to put there and then what you have here behind the seats here so you could fit um, a little bit like you could fit a case back there or a backpack behind your seat if you wanted and then down here is basically just where the OEM jack is and on the other side. It's a little bit nicer on the other side. There's a little bit more room, but a little bit of storage space back there. All right, so moving on to, as you can see actually from the outside here, I just washed it yesterday, but there are a few imperfections and having it outside, it's a little depressing because as you can see, there's pollen just everywhere. And I washed this like less than 24 hours ago. So kind of frustrating and annoying, but it is what it is. So a lot of people, when they see the MR2 for the first time and they don't know about it, they'll ask me if there's a trunk or not. Um, in the front, that is. There's really not a trunk. I'll just show you what's up there. Just pull this little lever here. What you'll find in the front here is basically your basic, I mean, spare tire. You've got the battery. If you take out the spare tire, your battery's there. Um, you've got power steering pump, washer fluid, all your typical stuff. But it just hides all the wires and stuff. You could fit a backpack in there if you really want. And we're going to a Soyuz next month. And um, that's going to require a lot of strategic packing in both my car and Ulrich's 300ZX. So I figure I'll be stuffing the front here too and making the most out of the space. So Another thing people are surprised about is actually the car having a real trunk itself in the back of the car behind the engine. Um, so back here basically behind the seat... There's a little lever here, just pull that. That's for the engine. That is the engine compartment. Like I said before, a lot of pollen. I don't know how it gets in here, but there's so much pollen around here. I do have a lot of cleaning up to do. It is bone stock at the moment. You have the actual trunk, which is this there. And then this pops up. There's a trunk. It's actually surprisingly big for having an engine in the back there. Yeah, that's basically a quick in and out of the car. I can't really think of anything else to show you guys. Sitting in here, there's a few other things I want to do in the interior. All this stuff is just going to basically come with time. Um, the head unit is one big thing because Right now I'm having to bring my Bluetooth speaker in here actually and just hook up my phone and then just like put it in the passenger seat or in the door card or something like that. Everything's great. Car needs a polish, but that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I will be back hopefully next week. I'm gonna say within a week, I'll be back with another video. Either way, I'll try to be back with another video, maybe a car meet or something or a cruise hopefully. Um, Ulrich just got his new clutch put in. So if I'm not back on this channel within a week, throw me a comment on Instagram or something or anything like that to help remind me. I'm going to try my best to do at least one video a week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tour of the MR2. We'll catch you next time.